So I'm telling you, had a little bit of an accident involving the sleeve valve model here. One of the kids tried to crawl out of one of the exhaust ports there. You can you can see him there. He's, he's kind of stuck in it. That's one disadvantage to the sleeve valve. It can be kind of like a, a, a meat cleaver if you don't watch out there. Anyway, we'll, we'll help get him out of there. Oh, there he goes. Okay, all good. Anyway, so we're going to explain a little bit how the sleeve valve works here. Um, we'll start out, start the cycle with the sleeve at the top. This is the sleeve uh, drive crankshaft here, as you can see. Shows it there. So, anyway, sleeve's at the top and the engine fires. So as it fires, it comes down on power stroke. And sleeve's halfway down. Piston's at the bottom, and then it starts to open up exhaust. Sleeve's coming down, opens up exhaust, exhaust continues to the piston reaches the bottom, sorry, top. Piston reaches the top to end exhaust stroke, and as you can see the sleeve valve, uh, sleeve drive shaft is at the bottom, and then as the sleeve drive shaft continues, the piston starts moving down on inlet stroke. The inlet ports start to open up. Then continues. The sleeve is halfway up. It closes the inlet valve, or valve, should I say. Then continues up on compression stroke until it reaches the top. And then it fires. It's a regular four stroke engine show you here with a compound port. Uh, pistons at the top, fires on power stroke, then comes down, exhaust stroke begins, continues, sleeves right around the bottom, intake, see I have some, a lot of valve overlap on this one, intake stroke, sleeves going up, sleeve reaches the top, compression. And it just continues to do that. So the sleeve drive shaft moves like a regular camshaft at half crankshaft speed. Anyway, it's on top here. Just want to explain how that worked there. Important point is to remember that <coughs> sleeve travels at the top. At uh, in between power and comp or compression and power stroke, then it's at the bottom in between intake and exhaust stroke. Okay, we'll catch you later.